Hello, this is Selling Guy 60. Um, I was telling you about a refrigerator I had at work, and we've been so busy this week. It's Saturday, and and we're closed, and finally I get a chance to do this. <laughs> That's how it is sometimes. You just get so busy. So I wanted to show you this refrigerator we had some unusual problems with. So let's let's start this up. Alrighty, flip this thing around. Hope they don't make it too dizzy. It's a Frigidaire. And let's open this up. Turn the light on and get a number for you here. Uh, where is it? There it is. It's FFTR1814. Q W zero. Okay, what we were called on this refrigerator, there was nothing working. The light wasn't working inside. The fan was not working, even though we turned it up all the way. We turned up the temperature all the way to as cold as it will go. Nothing would come on. So, like always, usually we go back and we go around here and we check the compressor. Got a piece. Lay down here with you and check the compressor. So, on the compressor, um, you take this piece off here, and I'll, I'll put a link in there and how you check this. And it looks something like this here. This piece comes off the compressor, right there. This piece comes off the compressor. And it's got three pins in it and um, and we check the compressor for ohms Sorry. check the compressor for ohms and then we also check this piece and this piece this is a connector this is a capacitor <laughs> It's a capacitor and we check both those so they work we checked the compressor we did the ohm checked that worked so we're scratching our heads trying to figure out why this isn't working oh, here I forgot something outside here hang on I'm gonna pause it okay I'm back so behind here there's cover this cover you pop it out and right back up in here, or somewhere, or maybe on the other side, there's a little plastic uh, bag, and it has the schematic in it. Well, if you look at the schematic here, get some light on this thing. You look at the schematic, and everything, here's the main power comes in, comes across, goes into the uh, electronic board. So we don't have a light, we don't have any fan, and our compressor isn't running. So everything was off in this refrigerator. And that's usually the first thing you check, um, uh, is, the, is the compressor and make sure that their, uh, the capacitor isn't popped or there isn't a bad connection back there, or the compressor is bad. So this model has a circuit board right here in it. So we thought we could order the circuit board, but no. We had to order the whole piece. This thing came, the whole piece, bulb and everything. And then it just unplugs here. It has one screw, it's a quarter inch. It comes up from under here. Uh, I have the box. Let's see the number on the box. Here's an Electrolux number. 5303918673. That's the electro. It's a control board assembly. So you can't just get the electronic board like you do on some of the other YouTube videos. You have to buy the whole piece. And I didn't see any uh, YouTube video on this one, so I thought, well, you know what? I'll make one. So I plugged it in and uh, this is where the one screw is right here in the front, right there. 
So this one screw, a uh, quarter inch, comes down. This comes down, and then it comes towards you. It comes out. Well, that's fine. And I'm like, okay, so now we've got electronic boards. Well, here is what we had before. This is your, your timer. And what you do is you can stick your screwdriver up through the bottom here and adjust your timer. You can see that in other videos. So this doesn't have a, a timer deal on it. I mean, there's nothing there besides the hole for the screw. So you have to go through this instructions. Let's see if we can see that a little bit better. You have this instructions, and oh, it's too much light. There we go. That you can see. And what you do is you do different deals with this. You click it three times and hold it, or click it four times, whatever it tells you in the instructions. Well, here I'm thinking, all right, well, this refrigerator is three years old. Now they changed these two refrigerators. Well, I got to look and see in these new refrigerators. What if they're electronics? Well, we bought a refrigerator the other day, two days ago, and I put it in. Well, the other refrigerator has this in it. The new refrigerator we bought from Frigidaire has the old stuff in it. So I'm kind of wondering if they maybe used this for two or three years and decided it wasn't a good thing and, and then went back to what they knew worked tried and true. I don't know. So uh, that's kind of a dilemma. This one was 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 really different you know uh, nothing was working in it <laughs> so we could tell by the circuit board being out and the way that they did their and the way that they did their uh, uh, wiring that everything goes through that circuit board so that's why not even the light on you know you can't always depend on you know if you go into something you say well it doesn't have power because the light bulb is out well that could be deceiving the light bulb can be out and that nobody called you to come and fix it so you can't always assume that so that's all I can do on that one this one's gonna need some cleaning um, and if you clean these we use a little brush we use a little brush and we go back up in here and we clean this out here and then on the fans we use like a little uh, a little paintbrush and and uh, try not to get all crazy jamming it in there just try to get all the dust out that you can and the same with this here just try to get all the dust out that you can uh, put the cover on and don't forget to put the covers back on these uh, run a lot better with the with the um, cardboard cover on the back uh, they suck air draws it across this spot right here and you can see on the fins here this one's dirty. It draws the air across those fins in a certain way that keeps the refrigerator uh, running cool. All right. Well, I hope this uh, helps somebody out there. <laughs> Turn me around here. I hope that helps somebody out there if they run into this problem. Uh, it's kind of crazy that uh, just to get the electrical board, you have to order the whole thing. But I think I saw them online for... Uh, like 90 to 120 they had some used ones on uh, eBay of course uh, so you can make a choice on how you wanted to do that so I'm gonna get this done set this uh, up and get up on YouTube and I'll put something uh, down in the description about uh, things that uh, like uh, checking the uh, ohms resistance on your compressor to make sure it's good and uh, a couple other ones on on checking those uh, that uh, the kind of the the the, uh, uh, the parts of the back of the compressor. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. It's been a long week. So selling guy sixty. See ya.